Prince Harry and Meghan are not finding freedom. They're still living in the past. Was this really the progressive new role the Sussexes envisaged for themselves, when they dropped their Megxit bombshell? Not for the first time, something slightly weird went on with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex this week. Following reports that Harry and Meghan were planning to snub the King's 75th birthday celebrations on Tuesday, a spokesman issued a denial, insisting, there has been no contact regarding an invitation to His Majesty's upcoming birthday. Then a friend popped up to suggest that the story had been leaked to divert attention from the King and Queen's recent visit to Kenya, where His Majesty faced calls to apologize for Britain's colonial past. Considering the trip to Kenya didn't go well, this might be a welcome distraction, they said. Meanwhile, we had cheerleaders like Omid Scobie on X, formerly known as Twitter, questioning the out-of-touch optics of the King and Queen walking on a red carpet that had been laid out for them at Nairobi National Park. Some may suspect that the Sussexes were possibly employing their own tactics, for they issued the birthday denial as reports emerged of the couple flying to a Katy Perry concert by private jet. The return trip from California to Las Vegas didn't quite live up to the rhetoric of a joint statement they posted on Instagram in 2019, which read, There is a ticking clock to protect our planet, with climate change, the deterioration of our natural resources, endangerment of sacred wildlife, the impact of plastics and microplastics, and fossil fuel emissions, we are jeopardizing this beautiful place we call home, for ourselves and for future generations. Yet this do as I say not as I doism also could be said to apply to Prince Harry's ongoing battle against the media. The Duke has now been given the green light to sue the publisher of the Daily Mail, as well as the publisher of The Sun, for alleged unlawful information gathering. The trial against the latter has been pushed back until 2025, meaning there will be another year of Harry vs. the press. Was this really the progressive new role the Sussexes envisaged for themselves, when they dropped their Megxit bombshell? Some might think that they are spending more time looking backwards than forwards.